Moving on to part three of uh, sound systems. So uh, sound systems can produce loud, rich sound using high quality speakers and amplifiers. Some speakers contain built-in amplifiers. Okay. Some uh, sound systems can play music from CDs or local storage. So basically, what they are saying is nowadays when you have sound systems, sound systems can be connected to, for example, to your smartphone. They can be connected to for example a DVD player they can be connected to the TV okay and these sound systems consist of high quality speakers okay and they also have amplifiers amplifiers are basically used to improve the sound quality to make it much louder to make it much clearer okay so when you play music from your mobile phone which is connected to one of these sound systems the sound appears very very clear and it's much louder than from your mobile phone speaker itself okay so for example if you look here we have a dj console over here you control the music from here the output of the music comes from these two speakers okay so they can usually be connected to personal devices like smartphones media players and tablet devices using either a wired connection like for example usb or wireless connections like for example using bluetooth okay so you can connect your digital devices to these speakers either wired or wireless if you use wired you can use something called usb you can use something called aux which is called aux cable and if you're using a wireless connection you can use bluetooth okay some sound systems can also be connected to the internet to play music which is stored online okay so it depends on what type of a sound system you are using so sound systems generally will improve improve the quality of your sound it will appear much louder much clearer as well okay then uh, we have something known as a personal video recorder uh, so for example certain televisions will have a personal re video recorder connected to it okay which will allow you to record broadcasted content okay okay so that it can be watched at a later date okay so for example there is a cricket match that you want to watch but for example you will not be able to watch it live so what you can do is you can have your personal DVD player to record the show okay and then once you come back home or once you are free you can watch that particular show okay so some devices fall into multiple categories for example some satellite television devices contain both a set-top box and a personal video recorder a set-top box is basically used to uh, convert analog signals into digital signals for the television connection okay we'll be talking about that later in this chapter okay so uh, just remember personal video recorders the device that is basically used to record a TV show okay which you can watch at a later date and time that is comfortable for you okay then we come on to blu-ray and DVD players now this is something which is I don't think at all in place the main reason is because nowadays nobody uses CDs okay hardly anybody uses a blu-ray cd or a dvd cd okay but those days people used to use cd was the most common uh, method of storage so then you could people would uh, you know buy movies on a cd they would buy a movie on a dvd on a blu-ray and then to play that particular cd you have to use a blu-ray player or a dvd player okay but nowadays since the use of pen drive and since there are online movies like for example using Netflix you can watch a movie uh, blu-ray players and DVD players have become completely almost extinct you can say okay uh, just talking about the CDs okay we spoke about blu-ray and DVD there are three types of CDs that we know of okay okay CD basically stands for compact disc okay so a CD generally is 700 MB in memory then we have something which we know as know DVD, digital versatile disc. DVDs are generally 4.7 GB in space, and the best of all of them is Blu-ray, which is 25 GB in space, okay, in memory capacity, okay. So that's why it says you Blu-ray disc can store HD movies. HD movies means high definition movies because high definition definition movies uh, consume a lot of space, okay. So a Blu-ray CD can go up to 25 GB, okay. Then also CDs can be in two formats, one is CDR and one is CDRW. The main difference between these two is in CDR, data can be modified or edited only once. When it comes to CDRW, you can modify the data as many times as you want. Okay. 
so this is cd uh, read only this is cd rewritable okay then uh, moving on to game games consoles something very popular in today's world okay so games consoles are designed to enable users to play video games on a television screen okay so if i just jump onto the next slide you can i'm sure most of you would have used this would have come across this okay you can basically connect these devices to your television screen and you can engage in gaming okay so games are provided on discs or as downloads from the internet they use controllers which are often wireless to control the characters vehicles or objects in the game okay some consoles use motion sensors okay so certain television screen certain uh, game consoles have what you call a motion sensor something like this which can detect your motion so for example you can play games like badminton you can play fighting games you can play dancing games for example this particular uh, sensor over here will just detect your motion okay certain games consoles will have to use a joystick certain game consoles work on the user's motion okay if the user will have to use an object to move around or the user can just move himself around and this device will be able to detect the motion okay uh, moving on uh, other games use virtual reality controllers and headsets to immerse the player in a realistic gaming experience okay to understand this particular point please do try and watch these two youtube youtube videos also if you do have time try and watch these two okay so this is this link will give you a comparison between ps4 and xbox 360 what are the advantages what are the disadvantages and then this is a small clip from the tv show the big bang theory okay it's about sheldon cooper he wants to buy a games console but he's not sure which one to buy okay so if you do have time try and watch these two links and these two links important to watch as well okay uh, also you have handheld versions of game consoles okay so children who are traveling while they're on the move okay they can play games okay and these devices easily fit into a user's hand okay so they have a built-in screen but they have less storage than a full size console okay so this means that games can be played on these devices often have reduced image and sound quality reduced game complexity and limited storylines in order to reduce the amount of data that needs to be stored so obviously these handheld game consoles are not as powerful as a normal game console okay but still useful okay so people while on the move or children while on the move they can engage in gaming okay keep themselves entertained then we also do have something known as media players okay so these are all digital devices we are going through okay under the subtopic home entertainment systems there is something known as media players media players are devices which are mostly used to play music to play videos to play movies okay so there are a few examples given to you here over here so for example you can connect this to your television and then whatever media content you have in your apple account you can watch it on your television okay you can control this using this remote there okay then apple's ipod is there okay in your icloud you can put all kinds of audio music all that and you can listen to it using your ipod there. okay then amazon also has something called amazon fire stick using our amazon fire stick okay you can just plug this into your tv's hdmi port and then you can access so many movies and tv series that amazon offers okay so you'll be controlling it uh, from this remote okay so these are examples of media players then uh, we have something known as navigation aids okay so now in our mobile phone we have an app that helps us with navigation but then there are certain devices that are built only for navigation purposes navigation purposes means for guiding you in terms of location okay so navigations also known as sat nav can calculate the best route between two or more locations and can provide updates to the route okay so a sat nav can tell you the best route to take to go to one particular location and it can update you it can talk tell you about traffic it can tell you about alternate routes that you can take okay so especially people who are involved in delivering and people who are involved in the taxi industry will be having uh, what you call navigation aids fixed in their uh, vehicles okay so navigation you aids use information from something called gps gps basically stands for global positioning system okay so it uses 
information from GPS satellites to determine the exact location of the device on Earth. Okay, so when you switch on your navigation aid, as soon as you switch it on, it connects to one of the GPS satellites in order to understand where exactly you are. Okay, so do try and watch this on YouTube as well. Okay, so YouTube, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Google is planning to update their uh, Google Maps and they're planning to use an interesting feature okay so do try and watch this uh, okay and then uh, we have something known as home automation devices and smart assistants okay so there's something which is going to come up very soon in the future which is known as smart homes so smart homes basically mean the main components of the house for example the ac the lights the what do you call the the, the 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 roller gate the garage gate okay the windows for example okay the refrigerator okay the main components of the house are going to be connected to the internet so you will be able to control these devices from your mobile phone itself so for example before you come home you can switch on the ac using your mobile phone for example when you before you come home using your mobile phone you can open the gate I get my point okay, that is what you call a smart home a home which is completely connected to the internet okay so use the internet you can control your house okay so for example home automation devices can connect a range of digital devices which sense and control functions in the home such as temperature and lighting okay so if it detects that the temperature in the house is too high automatically the ac switches on okay so devices in a house which can be connected to the internet can can form what you call a smart home okay and then as i told you earlier those devices can be controlled from your smartphone using an app okay so do watch these two videos one video is showing you the beautiful side of having a smartphone and this particular video will just show you a problem of having a smartphone okay once you're done with it please do try and attempt uh, questions 11 all the way up to question number 15 okay in our next video we will be uh, discussing these few past paper questions